The light shall bring victory. The light has betrayed me. In 2014, Blizzard released the card game Hearthstone, which had all the same 9 original classes of World of Warcraft. These classes all followed a similar structure, and when Blizzard released Demon Hunter in 2020, it followed the same pattern, the only difference being a one mana hero power. Then in 2022, Blizzard released the Death Knight class, with its unique deck building and resource systems that completely revolutionized the Hearthstone class format. I set out on a mission to update some of Hearthstone's older classes to bring them more in line with the Death Knight class. I've already overhauled the Shaman class and today I'll be looking at updating the Priest class. I call this update Faith. Priest is famous for the usage of spells and most of their spells are found either in the Holy or Shadow spell schools. Almost all of Priest's archetypes are linked to one of those two schools. For example, Priest is famously known for their ability to heal and even has the overheal keyword and most spells that relate to this ability are holy. On the other hand, Priest is also known for their ability to copy and even steal cards from the opponent, as well as minion destruction and damaging spells. These spells are usually found in the Shadow School. So what I'm going to present to you today is a new deck building system that is intermingled with those two spell schools, as well as a new resource system exclusive to Priest. In World of Warcraft, Priest has three specializations you can choose between, and I've attempted to convert those to Hearthstone. I've made three specializations similar to Death Knight's runes, called Faiths, that are based on the spells you have in your deck. When building your deck, you may choose to believe in the Faith of Discipline, Holy or Shadow, but they will each come with certain restrictions. If your deck has more Holy spells than it has Shadow spells, your deck will be considered a Holy deck. On the other hand, if your deck has more shadow spells than holy spells, it will be considered a shadow deck. Finally, if your deck has the same amount of holy spells and shadow spells, it will be considered a disciplined deck. Your deck specialization is important because it will allow you access to specialized cards. Some priest cards will have an emblem under their mana crystal with a faith on it. These cards are specialized cards and can only be run in a deck with the same specialization. The idea is that these specialized cards would be more powerful than regular priest cards, probably on par with something like 2 rune death knight cards or higher, because it does come with some deck restriction beyond not being able to run cards of other runes. Because of the restrictions to run them, all spells for the Holy Faith would be Holy Spells and all spells for the Shadow would be from the Shadow School, while spells from the Disciplined Faith would either be schoolless or from a school other than Holy or Shadow. The cards for the Holy and Shadow specializations would be based on the archetypes of the same spell schools, so healing and more control based cards for Holy and stealing cards and dealing damage for the mostly aggro oriented Shadow spec. The Discipline specialization, however, would allow room for more strange archetypes that don't belong to either of the other two specs. I've made a couple examples for each. These specialized cards could include the return of older cards, but with a power boost, such as Cyrella returning as a 3 mana minion for Holy, or Devour Mind and Spirit Lash returning for Shadow, but with a cheaper mana cost. And even Extra Arms returning both cheaper and stronger for Discipline. I've also made some brand new cards, like Holy Quake for the Holy Specialization, Arcanai Shadow Sworn for Shadow, and Prince Nadun for Discipline. Like I mentioned earlier, I've also made a completely new resource system for Priest. Priest will now have a resource bar under their mana crystals, similar to Death Knight's Corpse Counter. This meter will track two new resources called Piety and Insanity. You gain one piety every time you cast a holy spell and one insanity every time you cast a shadow spell and you can have up to five of each. But at the end of each turn you will lose one piety and one insanity. Your piety is signified by the golden bar on the meter and your insanity is the purple bar but any time you have the same amount of piety and insanity the meter will light up with a white glow. Some cards will synergize with these resources and might even give you piety or insanity. But most cards that synergize with a resource will feature the new keywords piety or insanity. 
Cards with these keywords will trigger a bonus if you have an equal or higher amount of insanity or piety than the number next to the keyword. For example, a card with insanity 3 would require 3 or more insanity to trigger its effect. The resource will not get spent when you play a card with a related keyword, and you can only lose piety and insanity when your turn ends, though some cards will have an effect that might spend or lose your insanity and piety. The idea is that holy priests would rely on piety and shadow priests on insanity, while disciplined priest is all about finding a balance in between. Here's a couple cards that interact with piety and insanity. Phony smile for discipline and shadow cloth needle and the powerful vice Roy Nishar for shadow. Well, that's the main premise of my update to the priest class, but before we round this video off, I want to show you a powerful legendary for each specialization. If you are playing a holy priest, you could run the new legendary minion, Sarah Lightmother. This 4 mana 3 6 minion has an aura effect that gives all your characters overheal gain plus 2 health. The health will be added to your character's health total, and this includes your hero, making it the ultimate control tool. For the shadow spec, I made the new legendary Nasoth the Deep One. We already saw Viceroy Nishar as an aggro tool, so I made this legendary for the control side of shadow. Nasoth is a 9 mana 5 7 minion that will take control of a random enemy minion for each insanity you have. Lastly, we have a card for the Disciplined Priest. It's Chorush the Observer. This legendary minion with good stats for cost has a very powerful effect, but with a harsh condition. If you have both Fire Piety and Insanity when playing Chorush, he will restore 30 health to your hero and any excess health will be converted to damage on the enemy hero. Well, that was all for my overhaul of the Priest class. As with last time, the main focus of this video was the new system as a whole, while the cards were more concepts than anything else. I've now overhauled two of Hearthstone's older classes, and I have a couple plans for a few more, but if you're interested in seeing a slightly different approach, I recommend heading over to the Bionic Door channel and checking out his series Hearthstone Classes Revisited. He has overhauled all of Hearthstone's older classes. I'm personally a huge fan of the series, and you can probably tell because I borrowed elements from both his priest and his mage revisits for this video. Seriously, check out his channel if you haven't, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But before you do that, maybe consider leaving a like and a comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel for more custom Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.